Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the face. To begin with, I'm going to prime my face with Baby Skin by Maybelline. It's just a silicone based primer that will help the foundation have, it will give a little slip to the skin so the foundation blends on well. So just go ahead and smooth that all over the face. I primarily put it in the areas where I have large pores, like right around my nose. So lately I've been using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation and I do actually like this for a drugstore foundation. It's got a great consistency to it and it's supposed to be a 24 hour foundation but really not good for you to sleep with your makeup on so I don't think I'll ever find out if it's truly 24 hours but it's a nice thick consistency and I'm going to go ahead and dot that all over my face. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to go ahead and smooth that out all over my skin. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the excess on my hand. Just add a little bit more to build up right over the cheeks where I have my natural redness. I'm going to go ahead and slide the rest of the foundation off my hand and just use it for under my neck so I don't have that line of demarcation. So for concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline New York Master Conceal by Face Studio. And this is in the shade Medium Deep. And because I forgot to say, the um, Infallible Pro Matte Foundation is in the shade Caramel Beige, 108 Caramel Beige. So I'm going to go ahead and pop some of that on the back of my hand as well, under my eye. And this stuff tends to dry fairly quickly, so you really want to work one eye at a time with this so you don't end up with it being too dry to handle and then you have uh, where it's settling into your fine lines or it looks crusty or cakey. So just go ahead and pat it on one eye. I then take my beauty blender and then go over it just to smooth out the edges and to really blend it out to my temple. So it gives that nice lightening effect there. It's a fairly good match for my skin tone. Let's go ahead and do the other eye. And then I'm gonna take what's left over a little down my nose just to highlight the top of my nose bring it more forward so it's not so flat looking and then I'm just gonna go ahead with my beauty blender and blend that all out to go ahead and set the foundation and concealer I'm going to use two different powders the first powder I'm going to use is my Ben Nye banana powder it's not necessarily drugstore but it's not a super expensive powder and I have this container, I've had it for a super long time. I put it into a little plastic sifter jar so it's easier for me to um, use on a daily basis instead of pouring it out of here because it makes a, a big huge mess. But this is great for me under the eye because it doesn't settle into those fine lines and end up looking all cakey. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right now to set my concealer. I'm just patting it on gently. I don't wanna move the product. I don't wanna move the concealer. It might seem like I'm being a little heavy handed with the powder because I'm just pressing it in and it kind of builds up a little bit. Any excess that's not being used to set the concealer, I can just simply brush away after I've got the powder pushed in. Okay, so to set the foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder that goes along with the foundation and I actually don't know the shade. Um, of this it doesn't have it anywhere on the packaging it was on the outer packaging that I already took off but this was the darkest shade that was available on the display so I believe it's tan I'm just gonna use a big fluffy brush to apply this to my face now on to the brows since I'm gonna be using all drugstore products for this look I'm going to be using my Milani brow fix brow kit and this is in the shade medium and I'm just gonna take this with a a little angled brush. It's one of the store brand Rite Aid brushes and it's just a nice little soft angled brush. I'm taking the deepest color in the Milani brow kit. It's just a little powder and I'm gonna start 
underneath my eye just to really define the shape. And my eyebrows aren't really arched, they're more rounded. I'm gonna start underneath and just pull that powder underneath so I can define the shape of my eyebrow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the brush against my eyebrow and just lift up to kind of distribute that powder upwards. I'm using the same powder that I picked up with the first application and I'm just kind of smoothing that over underneath. Then I'm going to go back in, just tap it into the color, and then I'm going to use it straight up and down to kind of draw in hairs. Very lightly. Using the powder gives me just a little bit more of a natural brow. So I've got the shape of my brow done. I'm going to this one, do the same thing. Then I'm going to use the other side, the spoolie side of the brush, and just blend that out. To set the eyebrow powder in place, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Drama, and this is in the shade Deep Brown. It just looks like a mascara with a little ball spoolie at the end. I'm just going to brush my hairs into place. It distributes a bit of color. Just use it very lightly. Okay, there we are. Just gonna let this dry for a bit and while I do that I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in so we can start on the eyes. For my eye primer I'm gonna be using my Jessie's Girl eyeshadow primer. It's just a little stick. It has a bit of a wand on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and smooth that over my lid. For this look, we're going to be using for this pinky purple Valentine's look, we're going to be using a Wet n Wild palette along with a for this um, for this pinky purple Valentine look, we're going to be using the this palette from Wet n Wild, which is called Floral Values, and then I'm using my Dance the Tides NYX Nude Matte Powder, and this is just really my transition color. That was just in front, okay. So for this pinky purple look, we're going to be using the Floral Values palette from Wet n Wild and a color from NYX it's called Dance the Tides, and this is just my typical transition color. To start off the look, we're going to use the top color, which actually says base on it. Conveniently enough, just going to dip a fluffy shadow brush into that. Just shake off any excess and place that from the crease all the way up into the brow. My next base that I'm going to be putting down is this, this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Strawberry Milk. It's just a soft pink. And I'm going to put that all over my lid from the inner tear duct all the way out to the edge of my lid. And I'm just gonna do this gently. Don't tug on your eye. And use your finger just to blend out the product. Next, we're gonna take a nice little flat fluffy blending brush and we're gonna take this color right here in the middle, which actually says definer and it's a nice bright purple. And we're gonna apply that to the crease. It actually looks a lot darker in the pan than what shows up on the crease. And that's because we put down the lighter base, so it shears it out a bit. It just helps it from being too overly Barney Purple. So you just really wanna carve out that outer corner, go into the crease, and you can actually open your eye if you don't know where your crease is, and just set your brush right there and just wiggle it. And when you're wiggling it, it'll just set it right down in the crease. Just close your eyes and you'll see where you're putting that color down. And just make sure you use tiny little motions afterwards just to blend it out. And we're taking this about two-thirds of the way in. So the next color we're going to use from this palette is actually the eyelid color, which is this pink one right here. And we're going to take a small little detail, flat shader brush, and we're going to start in the middle because wherever you start putting the product is where you're going to have the most color payout. Start right in the middle of that lid and then work your way towards your tear duct. And I'm just patting and slightly blending it. Just pat and pull it back. Pat, pull it back. You just wanna make sure that you're distributing that only on your lid, do not go into your crease. So the next color we're gonna use from the palette is right here at the bottom, it says crease. We're gonna take it on the same 
flat shader brush that you use for your crease, go ahead and grab it on the end. You need to tap it off a little bit because it is a dark saturated color. Put it right there on the outer V, kind of diagonal towards your eyebrow. Set it down and just do little circles in place. Just distribute that color down right there on the outer V. Don't worry about taking it anywhere. Just bring it towards the lash line and out and up a little bit. Kind of like you're doing a wing on eyeliner. Okay, so you see it there. Now you're going to go ahead and flip your brush the other direction so it's flat against your crease and just take that color and work it inwards. You're not even dipping in for some more product. You're just going to spread that product inwards. And just keep working with it until it gets where you want it to go. And for me, I just want it to be from here to here and down. So this is my be here and there. Okay, so now we want to blend all of these colors out. I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to start on the outer corner. Right underneath it, just go back and forth under that outer V just to make sure it's nice and clean, that we don't have any fallout. Take the brush over the top and just blend that deeper color and all of the edges. Okay, so overall, the top of the eye looks a bit too cool toned for my skin tone. So what I do to remedy that is take a little bit of my normal transition color, which is Dance the Tides. It's just a nice orangey brown. And take a small, teeny tiny bit of that, start on the outer corner, and just, and just bring it in with tiny windshield wiper motions. And it just adds a bit of warmth to this look, which gives it a bit more dimension. Go back in with that blending brush one more time. Just blend that out. And the last thing we're going to do on top is add a bit more of that base color right underneath the brow bone just to highlight it. For the inner tear duct area, I do want to give a little bit of sparkle because this is for a date night or for a girl's night or just because night. So take a bit of that brow bone color here. It's a nice light lilac color and I'm just going to pop that into the inner tear ducts. Just a little bit. You can end up looking a bit crazy if you put too much, but it helps to brighten the eyes. And right now, you can see my eyes are a little bit tired from a long day at work. So now let's go ahead and focus on the underside of the eye. What I'm going to use for that, I'm going to start off with the crease color. And I'm going to take that on a small smudge brush. I'm just going to bring that right here in the outer corner and smudge it in all the way towards the tear duct. Just to give further definition and pull the look together, just bring the, the top and bottom together. Just to make it a little bit more fun, I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to dip into that pink eyelid color. Just a teeny tiny bit. I'm going to shake a bit off and I'm going to go right underneath the darker color and just put a little pink down right underneath. And you can go up as high as you want. And just take that same little small brush and a little bit more of that color that says brow bone and bring it into the inner tear duct on the bottom as well. So that's it for the eyeshadow color. I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes with my Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner pin. So I'm going to go ahead and line the upper and lower waterline with my L'Oreal black eyeliner pe pencil. And this is the Silk Kiss Me line and it, the color is just black. Now on to mascara, I'm going to be using the Voluminous Extra Volume Collagen Mascara from L'Oreal in the color Blackest Black. To finish off the eye look, I'm going to go ahead and apply our Dell False Lashes and this is in 105 Black. Okay, so there are the eyes with the lashes on. 
Okay, so let's finish the rest of the face. I ended up picking up a Wet n Wild bronzer. This is in the color Bikini Contest, and this thing is massive. It's just a nice, neutral bronzer I'm going to go ahead and contour with. Right here, I'm going to glue it in. Just carve out that cheekbone. I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way into my ear. Just give myself a little shadow back here and underneath. Then I'm going to take this into the hairline, like a little bit on the edge of the brush, and go down the sides of my nose just to further define my nose. For my cheeks, I wanted something really bright and warm, so I'm going to be using this Revlon blush in Classy Coral. And it's just a really beautiful, bright, warm coral. It looks a lot lighter on camera than it is. It's a very bright and vibrant color. And so I'm just going to apply this to the backs of my cheeks. And for my highlight, I'm actually going to use a bit of this mauve um, Maybelline Master Highlight by Face Studio. It's kind of one of those blush and highlight all-in-one deals. And so what I'm going to do is it has all of these hashes of different colors. I'm just going to concentrate right where the highlight portion is. And I'm going to pop that right on to the tops of my cheekbones. Right down the bridge of my nose onto my forehead and my cupid's bow. And for this, I wanted to stay fairly neutral but fun, so I'm gonna use a neutral color for me. This is ColourPop Lippy Stick and Lippy Pencil in the color Brink. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips and then fill in the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and top that with the Lippy Stick in the same color, which is Brink. I'm going to go ahead and top it off with this Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stain and the color is in Rio Rush and I just think it's a nice bright pink option. I'm just going to top it right over this brain. Okay, so that is the finished look. It's a very bright and happy date night look. You can definitely wear this out with the girls. Celebrate Valentine's however you want. I personally don't have a Valentine's. I don't have a boyfriend. And so I'm going to be spending the day with my family. They're my Valentines. And I thought I would still come up with a nice bright look that makes me feel good about myself for that day as well. Try this out and let me know if you guys like it. It's just a really easy and affordable look to pull off. If you guys do recreate it, I would appreciate it if you'd send me a picture of yourself via Instagram at MakeUpMyWorld. If you guys have any other suggestions on videos, please leave them in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe. I'm starting to get more and more people that I consider friends on YouTube that are chatting with me via email, via Instagram, via Facebook. It's just such a cool community to make more friends that all have the same passion or all want to learn more about makeup. And I get my inspiration from you guys. So I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe, leave comments, tell me if you like it, tell me if you don't, tell me if there's another idea out there that you guys want to see a tutorial on or an unboxing or review let me know what's on your mind I look forward to hearing from you guys and never ever be afraid to be your perfectly imperfect you bye for now thank you for watching click on the video above to get another glimpse into my world don't forget to visit my website makeupmyworld.com for more details on me and the products used today also be sure to follow me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter my details are below take care and I'll see you next time bye for now